here at reinstated by the NFL. Did, did they do the right thing? Yes. I, I think it's a, you know, I think Garrett definitely deserved a significant penalty suspension. Eight games is pretty significant. Well, wasn't it six? Or six games. I thought it was six. Um, I'm glad there wasn't any carryover. I'm glad it was resolved. Uh, now the Browns can count on Miles Garrett from day one of whatever it is, whether he shows up at OTAs or not, but at least camp. Um, I didn't think that – I thought six was about right. Now, let me say this, though. Miles Garrett cost the Browns dearly last year. and In the he, standings? Well, yeah. who knows? I mean, if you think Miles Garrett is an impact player – he might have been worth one or two victories. Yeah. And would that have gotten the Browns in the playoffs based on what their final record was? No. no would it have potentially uh, saved winner, some jobs? Yeah, but, uh, you know, with a win or two in the right place, that put them in, in to be uh, being relevant well, in the last two, three games. I think games. specifically about that Pittsburgh game. I mean, I would like to think Miles Garrett in Pittsburgh uh, for the rematch would have been a, a an impact player in that game, especially given the – the Steelers quarterback situation. So my point is, Miles Garrett skated largely, in my opinion, on his term, in terms of blame. Everybody was sitting there going, oh, Miles either got a raw deal or he didn't get... But he really did hurt his team. So I hope that he comes back with a vengeance and he's all about the team. All right, let's see uh, what uh, Andrew Berry, the general manager of the Cleveland Browns, had to say. The statement comes out today. We welcome Miles back to the organization with open arms. We know he's grateful to be reinstated, eager to put his uh, past behind him and continue to evolve and grow as a leader. We look forward to having his strong, positive presence back as a teammate, a player, and a person in our community. So there you have it, Andrew Berry. It doesn't take long for guys to come into Cleveland, get a significant job, and then they have to respond to something Issue like this. statements. Um, yeah, I mean, good for Miles, good for the Browns, but... I would love Miles Garrett to say, "Hey, I'm, you know, I blew it, and I re I'm really sorry for this, and and I'm coming back 20 in 2020 better than ever." Uh, you talked about his impact on the Browns and what that meant. Let's take a look at what we think that uh, did mean the uh, last part of the season. Miles Garrett uh, had uh, 10 sacks, tackles for losses 13, forced fumbles two. And there you see the rest of it. And uh, I would assume Olivier Vernon is not going to be on the team this year. Yeah, it would be uh, hard to believe that given the uh, amount of money that the Browns owe Vernon, would owe Vernon in 2020, that he's not going to be around. 121 rushing yards allowed per game with Garrett, 174 without him. That's pretty impactful. You're talking about over 50. Yeah. I, I meant to say it's hard to believe he would be around Vernon. Right. I, I think the Browns are going to move on from him because of that potential cap hit. 2-1-6.